This is a, a little quick take on uh, making clay stamps. It's a $10 workshop that's being offered at EBB Studio Home. And um, what we're going to do, I'm going to show you how to make your own little clay stamps that you can fire. Uh, you can use a, an air dry clay for this, but you'll have a stronger piece if you use an oven baked clay or a kiln fired clay. So I don't want to say it's impossible to use an air dry clay because I'm sure you can. Um, it's just that air dry clays, as, as they come in contact with moisture, they start to soften again. So you might lose detail. So these are um, these are regular clay that's been fired. There are some clays that you can buy in craft and hobby stores that are called oven bake clays, and they just bake at a real low temperature, and that makes them a lot harder. And then I'll cover some things in the class too, where, uh, as far as how you can seal them and things like that. Palmer clays, you could probably do it out of Palmer clay. And the nice thing about this is if you carve a texture or you have a texture that you want to transfer um, or a drawing or something like that and create a stamp, you can then repeat that um, over and over and over again on a piece by having it in a stamp. So this is a, a texture that I got from a napkin ring and put it into uh, clay and then I fired that. So now I have the ability to do this border if you can see that, um, anytime I want, I can stamp this onto clay. Uh, this is just a little, little depression with a dot in the center. And um, possibilities are endless as far as what you do. Most of mine that I have here are negative space in here, so they come out to be erased space in the clay. But uh, if you do it the other way around, where uh, this pops up, they would be suitable to use for uh, for paint. You know, if this was all up, you probably could use them for paint. So there's possibilities of uh, other applications for these stamps when you make them. Like I said, I made mine for clay and I want raised designs. So where there's a hole here, it's going to be raised in my clay. And it just really makes it nice to have something that you enjoy, a texture that you enjoy, or a print that you enjoy and be able to uh, continually stamp that and not have to carve it. So that's what this class is about. We're gonna make them out of clay, we're gonna make stamps. Um, as I said before, I think if you do an oven baked clay, you'll have a stronger, or if you do a, a kiln fired clay, you'll have a stronger stamp, but it doesn't mean that it won't work at all in an air dry clay. So if you have an air dry clay and you wanna give it a try, maybe it's a lead in to let me see how this works. And if I like it, I'll go out and do a, a kiln-fired clay or I'll go out and do a, an oven-baked clay and uh, be able to make some stamps that are, uh, are more durable and will last for a longer time. So check it out. It's, uh, like I said, $10 class. It's pretty much uh, one sitting if you want to make it that or it can go on forever. But it's, uh, it just depends how crazy and how many stamps you want to make. You can make tons and tons of them. And like I said, if you do them opposite to where the stamp, the object you're stamping is higher than the rest of the stamp, you probably could use them for paint and things like that as well. So uh, have fun and check them out. Take a class. Thanks. Bye. Reaching.